and for Lord, the very most reverend Metropolitan Nicholas, first hierarch of the Russian Church of Rome, for the venerable priest of the Jacobin in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. With his land, Joined unto the man as a helper and for the recreation of the human race. 
Wherefore, O Lord our God, who has sent forth thy truth upon thy inheritance, and thy covenant unto, unto thy servants, our fathers, even thine elect, from generation to generation, look now upon thy servant Zacharias, and upon thy handmaiden Barbara, and establish and make stable their betrothal of faith, and in oneness of mind, in truth and love. For thou, O Lord, hast declared that a pledge should be given and confirmed in all things. By a ring was power given unto Joseph in Egypt. By a ring was Daniel glorified in the land of Babylon. By a ring was the uprightness of Tamar revealed. By a ring did our heavenly Father show forth his compassion upon his son. For he said, Put a ring on his hand, and bring hither the fatted calf, and kill it, and eat, and be merry. By thine own right hand, O Lord, didst thou harm Moses in the Red Sea. By the word of thy truth were the heavens established, and the foundations of the earth were made firm, and the right hands of thy servants shall be blessed also by thy mighty word, and by thine uplifted arm. Wherefore, O Lord, do thou now bless this putting on the rings with thy heavenly benediction, and let thine angel go before them all the days of their life. For thou art the one that does bless and sanctify all things, and unto thee do we send the glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Bless and open and fear the Lord. We don't know. Father. Thou hast not promised thyself to any other bride. I have not promised myself, Reverend Father. Hast thou, Barbara, a good, free, and unconstrained will, and a firm intention to take unto thyself to husband this man, Zacharias, whom thou seest here before thee? I have, Reverend Father. Thou hast not promised thyself to any other man. I have not promised myself, Reverend Father. Bless master. Bless is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, both now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace, the
thing, who this transformed the rib of our forefather Adam into a wife, because of thy love for mankind, and this blessed them and say unto them, Increase and multiply, and have dominion over the earth, and this make of the two one flesh, for which cause a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife, and the two shall become one flesh, and what God had joined together, let no man put asunder. Thou who this blessed thy servant Abraham, and the opening of the womb of Sarah, this make him to be the father of many nations, who this give Isaac to Rebekah, and this bless her in childbearing, who this join Jacob unto Rachel, and from that union this generate the twelve patriarchs, who this unite Joseph and Asenath, giving unto them as the fruit of their procreation, Ephraim and Manasseh, who this accepts Zacharias and Elizabeth, and this make their offspring to be the forerunner, who from the root of Jesse, according to the flesh, this blood forth the ever virgin one, and was incarnate of her for the redemption of the human race, who through thine unutterable gift and manifold goodness didst come to Cana of Galilee, and this blessed the marriage there, that thou mightest make manifest that it is thy will that there should be a lawful marriage and the beginning of children to thy thyself, O most holy master, accept the prayer of us, thy servants, as thou would present there, so likewise be thou present here with thine invisible protection. Bless this marriage, and bestow upon these thy servants, Zacharias and Barbara, a peaceful life, length of days, chastity, mutual love in the bond of peace, long lived seed, gratitude from their prosperity, a crown of glory which fadeth not away. Thou save them to behold their children's children, preserve their men on the sail, and give them of the dew of heaven from on high, and of the fatness of the earth. Fill their houses with wheat and wine and oil, and with every beneficence that they may bestow upon also the needy, granting unto also to those who are here present with us, and with them all those petitions which are for their salvation. For thou art a God of mercy, compassion, and love for mankind, and unto thee we send the glory together with an original Father, and the most holy and life great Spirit, of now and ever to the ages of ages. that have 
having sufficiency in all things, they may abound in every work that is good and acceptable unto thee, and let them behold their children's children, like a newly planted olive orchard, round about their table, that obtaining favor in thy sight, they may shine like stars of heaven in thee, our God, for with thee is glory, dominion, honor, and worship, with thine unoriginate Father, and thy life-creating Spirit, but thou never to the ages of the ages.
Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word that he might present it to himself a glorious church not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing but that it should be holy and without blemish so husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies he that loveth his wife loveth himself for no man yet hated his own flesh but nourisheth and cherisheth it just as the Lord doth the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this purpose shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and the two shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery that I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his own wife even as himself, and let the wife so reverence her own husband. Peace be unto thee, reader. And to thy spirit. Whoa. 
kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. thou exalted, O bridegroom, like unto Abraham, and be thou blessed unto Isaac, and do thou multiply like unto Jacob, walking in peace and keeping the commandments of God in righteousness. And thou, O bride, be thou exalted like unto Sarah, and exalt thou like unto Rebecca, and do thou multiply like unto Rachel. Rejoice thou in thy husband, fulfilling the conditions of the law, for so it is well pleasing unto God. Come to 
again have Galilee and is blessed there the bear trees. Bless also these thy servants, who through thy good providence are now joined together in wedlock. Bless their comings in and their goings out. Fill their life with good things. Receive their crowns into thy kingdom, preserving them spotless, blameless, and without reproach unto the ages.
And crowns the church gives to the wedded couple as many signs. The first and obvious sign is that they're, they're, they're the new king and queen of their own kingdom, being newly married. And they are to live according to God's precepts in this new kingdom. St. John Chrysostom says, If a man and woman marry in order to be companions on the journey from earth to heaven, then their union will bring great joy to themselves and to others. The second visible sign of crowns is when one wins a race. St. Paul says this in his epistle to the Hebrews where he says that, let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. We are called to finish this race. And when we have somebody helping us, it becomes easier, it becomes lighter. And it's very truly for that reason that we, as married couples, help each other to become saved and to inherit the eternal kingdom. One of the last things I want to bring up also is for this crowning is that crowns are given to martyrs. Crowns are given to martyrs. And what has this to do with marriage? Very simply, that when we martyr ourselves, that is, when we kill our own ego and live for the other, then we truly have martyred ourselves. And this is not just a day. This is not something you try on. For a marriage to be happy, it must not be built on the principle of trying it out. Crowns are placed upon the heads of those being married in church, and these crowns symbolize martyrdom. Martyrdom because someone decides to live for the other, transcending their own ego, and abandoning life live only for him or herself. And not just for a day or for two years, but for the rest of your life. This is real martyrdom, a daily struggle when a person rises to the full measure of their human dignity. Zacharias and Barbara. I wish you much joy in your new life. This life that was just created before us. For yesterday and before you came to church, you were your own individual person. And the same for you, Barbara. But now, you are joined together in this new union. This new being that has never existed before and will never exist again. May God grant you all his blessings upon you and your children, and that, as we say in the service, that you also see your children's children, that you raise them up in the precepts of the law, and that you yourselves give examples to your children and those around you how to live according to the law. For St. Seraphim Sorov said, if we acquire the, Spirit, the Holy Spirit, thousands around us will become saved. If we live as we should, as Orthodox Christians, then others will become saved. We cannot say we love others and hate our own brother because we are liars, St. John says in his epistle. Love covers a multitude of sins. If you take the text of all the Bible and lay it down into one word, it's one word is love. And I grant and ask and beseech upon both of you to love each other as love you love God and that you may continue in this life together with happiness and joy and unfortunately struggles, unfortunately arguments, but of course you will overcome those because you will kill your own ego and carry each other, carry each other to that destination, the final promised land in heaven. Amen.
Yeah, maybe. You go first. Okay. Thank you. Wish you many years. Thank Happy you. life. Thank you. Thank you, Sonia. Congratulations. Thank you. Huh? Yeah. That's for you. This is from me. Thank you. And I want to um, read some of words for you. Okay. So, like, I don't know how to say the uh, English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have terrible English, <laughs> but anyway. Oh, it's okay. Talk over is uh, fine. There is love. Mm -hmm. there is, where is there is love? There is peace. Where here, uh, where, uh, where there is peace, there is a blessing. Where is there is a blessing, there is God. Where is God? There is God. Uh, Prosperity. Prosperity. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you, Lisa. It's good work. Thank you. 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 Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, nice. Hello, make me present. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm very happy. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Favorite. Barbara. It's okay. It's okay. I know. We should see your face as we're walking around. I can't wait. Oh my goodness. Thank you. All I can think of is not knocking the crown off my head. I'm like, it was so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm so happy for you. I wouldn't miss this. You know what I'm like. And now you're a mother. Thank you. Me too. I'll just take a picture. Obviously. Thank you. You're not going to throw any Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, Peppa. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Bob. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Grandma, gotta come forward. I love you too, Grandma. Thank you. Uh oh. I don't okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Thank you. 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 Thank
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. God grant you many years. I'm David. I'm just a recent member of your dad's parish. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thanks. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay, Mr. Three, okay. There we go. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. Oh, with her daughter. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. I felt like I was balancing my crown on my head. Hello. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.